weird. It's running. Okay, good. Uh, I got a question about what motivates me or how do I stay motivated after all these years to keep making these videos. And the answer is really that I avoid everything that can possibly motivate me. Let me say it in a different way. I no longer allow all of the things that demotivate me to kick in. In other words, I do what I want to do. I don't follow a certain guideline or formula or something that people normally will tell you to operate under, right? That's why when people say to me, your sound is not great and you seem unprepared, fuck you, seriously. I make these videos, the most important thing, for example, when I was teaching, the most important thing to me was that I have fun doing it. Because if I didn't, I wasn't good at it. Even when you have a job, whatever you have to do, my advice is always to follow only your own intuition, your own uh, path. Follow your path. No matter what, and, and, and if the job that you have requires you to abandon your path, then I can guarantee you somewhere out there, there is a job, the same job, where the supervisors are completely different, the complete opposite. Complete opposite. Where they've been through this negative energy and have abandoned it. That's what I've learned. You go to one position and it's horrible. And everybody in the office is scared. You meet the new co-workers and they all have this frightened and fake look on their face. And that moment you know something is not right. And then you get to a different position. Something happens. You quit. You just don't show up. You get fired. Whatever it is. And the new position, they say, oh, I know these guys. Oh, my God, I agree. And everybody there has good energy. Even people who are not necessarily the types to display great energy, it kicks in. It's there. The energy is there. You go with it. You have to go with it. You can't just escape it. Right? And so one of the things that I earlier, like, you know who you are. Uh, I'm not going to mention your name unless you want me to. I'm, I always believe in giving credit where I do. Always. Always. Right? But I also understand that some of you who've been my YouTube friends for a long time have changed your names. At one point, you decided to go anonymous or pseudo. I can't think. I just woke up, honestly. I just woke up. But when I wake up, I'm at my best, I think. My mind is at its best. It doesn't mean I look my best. It means my mind is at its very, very best when I wake up. And that's how I started my videos. Also, when I would wake up at 3 in the morning, after a dream or a nightmare or something like that, and immediately I'm going online. Immediately I go on camera. I uh, Now I don't have enough hair, but my hair was sticking up, and I don't care, honestly. It's not about... Uh, I can work only on one thing, seriously. I cannot work and worry about my presentation, lighting, all of that. It's really not... It sidetracks me to the to the point where I can't do it. 
you know i get i get uh i have to only allow myself to think about the things actually that are of interest to me so when i saw your comment again sudden sudden <laughs> not anonymous but uh, I can't. <laughs> um, shit so anyhow uh, yeah I uh, will mention by name if you would like me to I'd be happy to seriously but don't make up but don't change your mind don't tell me six months later oh can you uh, redo this video and edit my name out. No, I can't and I won't you know what I mean if you once you make a decision I'm gonna take a screenshot So I have proof Where you tell me you can use my real name, please use my real name or mention my name or mention but I, you know who you are uh, It's I know it sounds unfair because a lot of you viewers don't know who am I talking to you i see all of the latest comments that come in no matter what video they are but you may not know where the comment is you may not be able to find it or you will find it i started to read your comment and then i stopped because i want to do it in real time as if we're having a conversation. It's the only way that I want to do it now. I don't want to do it any other way. Hey Mike, I appreciate all your responses a lot. Hey, I appreciate your comments a lot. If you have any further questions, please let me know. Yeah, I have questions all the time. I mean, I have questions about, man, you know what, to be honest with you, I'm really hesitant in this department. Once I start asking questions, I'm always afraid I will not stop. Because I have learned to stop myself throughout my life. Uh, it's really weird, like when I meet new people, and I honestly don't even know how to... Um, be me right I mean I am able to be me more than anyone I know in my life right but it's not a good thing it's used against you one way or the other eventually people often come around and, and show you who they are but if you are hiding who you are you don't really have a right to know who I am this is how I feel and uh, I'm not a judgmental person whatsoever, but people assume. So if you put on your mask, don't ask me to show my face. And with that, you know, I've also learned that I don't become intrusive because I can. It's our nature. To be not intrusive but be transparent and voice our questions voice them vocalize you know what's on our minds so I have many questions for you many that are on my mind but what I also like is that you're open and sharing things you know and when you share something and I realize, for example, okay, a near-death experience, what do you mean? This is what I love to do the most because people share some things, but not enough. Enough for the general public, maybe, because if you get into too much detail, people will just say, oh my God, that's boring. Yeah, all the crap they're talking about is not boring. But when you say something interesting, all of a sudden it's boring or it's too deep or, oh, dude, that's deep, man. Yeah, right. It's basically not deep, but well, it's deep, maybe. 
compared to what most people talk about, but I call it real, where you express your thoughts. And that's what I like to do. I don't like to be scripted. I can be, but trust me, I will say things that I said before in the same way. And so, of course, I'm motivated to speak. This is just me speaking. This is the way I communicate with people that I wish I could communicate with more people. So I appreciate very, very much your comments. Uh, being all negative, I am, of course, curious enough to have an almost infinite line of questions for you. Yeah, thank you. Good. Bring them. Seriously. Uh, for all negatives, me included, ego has been one of my main issues in life. Yeah, the ego thing, honestly, okay, I hear, you know, terms thrown around all the time. Ego, narcissism, blah, 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 blah. You know, when you live in a world as an intuitive person and you pick up on the stupidities around you, left and right, um, how can you not have what people call an ego? How can you not have that? How can you not being, if let's say you're smarter than 95% or 99% in the world and you are on a daily basis obligated to sit through or hear through really dumb things people say. How can you not feel like I am not like that. I am smarter than that. I have a clearer state of mind where I don't talk about stupid shit all day. You know, um, of course, if you show how you really feel, I often say that, man, that if we are negative people f show how we really feel, we'll have a lot more enemies. People will not be able to handle it. Oh, you think you're so smart. Oh, you think you're this. Oh, my God. Oh, you think you think. They will come together and do what they can to break you. To humiliate you. To make you look stupid. They did that with Tesla. Nikolai Tesla. They did that with him. That's why I find it so weird when all these people now worship him. And I'm thinking you are probably, if you're too much of a worshiper, you're probably the kind of person who would have joined in in the demonizing back then, had you been born on a different day. You would have read these articles that some of these newspapers wrote about him being crazy. And you would have been, oh, yeah, he's crazy. All of a sudden, yeah, you're turning from demonizing people people can be demonizers and then they are worshippers no middle ground i don't worship the guy at all i think he had some real uh uh he had an ego for sure and he didn't hide it it became his weakness he was um basically trapped and controlled by his ego so and I'm pretty sure he was all negative I find it horrifying seeing his younger pictures and then when he's older how horrible he looked what he has suffered probably he had no fucking money at the end nothing staying in some hotel room that he could pay for by the week and didn't know where his next uh, you know had very little money <clears throat> yeah um, how can you not have an ego but honestly again there is no real 
proven connection between wisdom and intelligence. That's one of the probably most important things I've learned last year. So you can be very intuitive, you can be, but wisdom, yeah, I don't think he had it, Tesla had it, and I think some of us don't have it too much. Some have it very much. I don't know. There are things I'm undecided on. In the undecided on. So, my first drowning experience, which I wrote to you, was because a seven-year-old girl jumped from the five-meter jump down to the pool. So I thought, surely I can do it also, if a girl can, even though I couldn't swim. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's cool. <laughs> The ego can also be used for many good things, like healthy competition and the thri driving force for life. Absolutely. You know, and by the way, don't fight who you, don't fight how you feel. Don't do that. <coughs> if you have what you think is an ego, don't kill it. Just don't show it to people. Just choose your battles uh, time, time your day well to where you put yourself in situations where you can use that, you know, not be around a bunch of clowns and uh, allow yourself to get to the point where you're bragging about stuff and don't do that. That's not uh, good for anybody. That's not going to be good. Put yourself around people who are better than you, who you think are smarter than you who you think have more to offer than you do, if you can find them. Seriously, go for the top. Hang with people like me when I play tennis or table tennis. Now, I, I like it when, when I play now with people who are, they're around, I like these people, right? And I'm, I, I, I don't play for points, by the way. In tournaments I do, otherwise I don't like it. I really don't like it because when I do, I really do it. I get really, really intense. I get so intense that people say, oh, calm down, man. It's only a game. And then I say, okay, I calm down. But then when I calm down, they suddenly beat my ass, right? So I have to be intense. I can be relaxed or intense. I can be one way or the other. I can't just be kind of, you know, either, I, I don't know how to do that. And I don't want to know how to do that. I believe that's a part of our instinct, our hunter's instinct. When it's time to, you know, catch that buffalo, there is no, oops, I missed. No, it's do or die, you know. So when people say, you want to play for points, let's just start a game. Are you sure you want that? Are you sure? Because for the next 21 points or the next two sets, be it table tennis or tennis, I'm not going to be the same. I'm not even going to look at you as a friend, even though you are. I want to beat your ass. And that means I want to beat you 6-0, 6-0. That's what I'm shooting for, for the best possible, right? So my advice would be seek people who are so good that they will beat your ass 6060 six, and then grow. Grow through that. Because otherwise there's no challenge. When you when I swim, okay, how long can I be underwater? How many meters? 25? I got that. Even though I've been chain smoking for 35 years. You know what? I can do more. But my pool is only 25 meters. So, um, the thing is that a lot of the jobs that we have and positions in life we have are not challenging us. The challenge is often getting along with people. The challenge is hiding who we are. The challenge is just uh, not being known as an egomaniac, which many of us are considered even though that's so far from the truth and there's nothing wrong with having an ego if you have you can have as much as an ego of an ego as I, as you want 
and I love it actually when I when I'm around people with an ego I break them I seriously do I I'm, I show them you know they, they, they may act around certain common friends they're, they are, you know, because they can't, they don't get challenged. And then I'm like, I'm not the one, bro. If you do this around me, I will take you on. I will show you, especially if you actually think you can challenge me. Bring it. So I think ego is actually opening a door to possibly being destroyed. I think Tesla was destroyed on every level, you know due to the ego he had in his younger years. And that ego also, I mean, I'm not saying anything is wrong with what he said about Edison, but the fact that he said it openly, that is like, uh, you know, that was, uh, man, I mean, he opened the door there that they came in and cornered him and he was cornered in the end man he looked horrible so what i think we all have to do as arch negative people help each other make it in life seriously help each other make it in life and get further you know don't suffer be okay be well So I was wondering if you could make a video on the topic of ego. Ah, you see, I didn't read it before. That's a good thing. Yes, ego. Do Irish negative people have an ego? By the way, I'm not sure what happened. I have internet problems right now. So my internet timed out several times because I uploaded so many videos and I need a new package. I'm here in Thailand. I have the average package it takes hours sometimes to upload a video seriously I guess I have to upgrade or I'm gonna drive to this laundry mat that I know they have extremely fast internet a video there takes about a minute to upload it takes the same video takes about an hour with my connection but I don't like to leave my house. I really don't. I need to buy a bike. I got a car. I need to buy a bike to be more flexible. I hate having to look for parking. I hate being stuck behind stupid people in traffic. I hate, and then, you know, I, 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 I just don't like it. I just don't like driving at all. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I, I uh, got the car for my family, but I don't like cars. I like motorbikes or scooters. Wow, you see, we think alike in many ways. So covering both the negative and positive side of this. I think I did already a little bit of that. So any advice for keeping the ego in check, using it for a good cause rather than visually impressing people that don't care or that you should not care about? By the way, these people are trying to impress everybody. If they didn't have an ego themselves, they wouldn't notice it in you. They may act fake humble, but in reality, they make sure their position isn't established. I don't mind people having an ego at all, unless it becomes intrusive and somebody thinks he can take me on. And then I say, bring it, bring it, bring it, baby. And once this switch, this adrenaline switch or whatever it is, is kicking in, there's no turning back. You know what I mean? Then there's no turning back. So um, challenge the people that are a challenge to you. Don't brag. These people are not worth it. Trust me. Trust me. Seriously. Pick your barrels. If there are any. Uh, I hear a lot of people struggling with social anxiety. I presume it's because we don't want to look vulnerable or weak when witnessed by arch positives. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> well, the social anxiety thing, 
uh, I think it's your intuition picking up on possible dangers. Knowing that if you are completely yourself, people will attack you. I think it's actually a normal thing. I had this before, these feelings. And uh, I realized they, have, they were valid. They were valid concerns. And I realized that I have, that this so-called social anxiety kept me from being who I am in the wrong crowd of people. You know, so who we pick, honestly, I, I hate to say, don't <coughs> skip all your friends, but distance yourself from people who, you know, certain people, distance yourself, find distance, find people, the kind of people that you think maybe uh, are better than you in certain things. They have more money than you. They are more educated than you they are more this they are more that find the best of the best seriously and you'll be surprised what you can grow into rather than wasting your time with dudes who uh, worry about how much of an ego you have seriously you know i hope one day the island becomes reality rather than a distant dream bless you yes me too i will start an ngo by the way and I hope some of you will join me. Uh, forget to mention, even after drowning twice, I now at age 25 still love the ocean and go fishing one to three times a week. Even in the winter half year, I fish in the frozen fjords. I am allergic to cold. I don't know how you do it. That's why I chose Thailand before I lived in Costa Rica. I like the warm areas. I think from what I see in Norway, right, Norway, gorgeous country Scotland gorgeous country I wouldn't want to live there seriously I don't know how I would uh, when it's cold it's like my blood is frozen and I cannot think well I don't think fast I I hope that this video is one of those beautiful accidents that uh, makes it and I thank you very, very much for watching. Please, even if I don't ask a question, maybe I will make a video with some questions I will just throw out there for all Irish negative people. I think that's going to be my next video. And I hope that you answer. And I thank you again.